hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first vlog where i'm officially now a mom <laughs> life has just been so different and very exciting very special and i'm so in love with our baby but it's definitely been such an adjustment such a life change my eyes right now under this concealer i'm very tired <laughs> i sleep probably like three to four hours per night actually now just a little bit more she's sleeping a little bit longer throughout the night but still but it's so much fun at the same time and there's so many unique and special things that are happening right now so i also wanted to share some of that in today's vlog i'm gonna do my best i have no idea how this is gonna go but i want to try to slowly get back into the swing of things and yeah and just capture like little moments of this very special time and share them with you guys as well this has been my go-to mom look for the past few weeks usually a pair of shorts i like these kind of um biker shorts they're super comfortable and they just feel like nice and supportive around the belly as well i also have ones um from lululemon that i really like that i actually wore throughout my pregnancy and i'm still wearing them now and these are from fabletics and then these white um cami nursing tops from h&m have been amazing you can just clip this on and off and it's very easy access to <laughs> the boobs and then like a white shirt on top of that just to kind of like tie everything together this has just been my favorite like quick and easy outfit to wear and then i will put on a little bit of jewelry sometimes just to kind of like dress it up some bracelets I've got my rings on and just some little earrings like this i don't wear makeup every single day but sometimes i just feel like i need a little bit of concealer and just like a little touch up on my brows maybe a little blush i curl my lashes just to kind of make me feel a little bit more put together and more like myself because mom life it's so different you guys it's so different it's beautiful but it's very much like you're running around you're sleep deprived you're trying to figure out your baby you're trying to like eat and just get as many things done as possible and when i'm a little bit more put together it just gives me like a little extra boost it makes me a little bit more energetic and feel like myself this definitely does not happen every day some days if i can just manage to take a shower and like get some comfy clothes on that's a win um because every day is a little bit different with a newborn we're kind of in a little bit of a routine so there are some moments in the day where i can count on that she's going to be sleeping and that's when i can kind of like plan you know to do things like this work a little bit feel a bit more consistent but other times it's very much like sporadic but yeah finding a little bit of time in the day to take care of myself get myself ready just shower make myself feel good feel a little bit more put together that really goes such a long way and just putting on a little bit of jewelry like this can really elevate just like the most simple outfit like i'm wearing today all of these pieces are from monica vinader i just got these in and i'm so in love with them both of these necklaces as well and also this really pretty bracelet that has like this kind of rope detail it's so so pretty and i love it with my watch as well what's really cool and unique about monica vinader is that they use 100 recycled materials when they make their jewelry including 100 recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold vermeil and all of their gemstones and diamonds and pearls that they use are ethically sourced so they really focus a lot on sustainability within their brand and also the designs are so beautiful very modern and minimal great for everyday wear the quality is really beautiful and again i just love how jewelry like this just instantly dresses up an outfit it's such an easy thing to add both for daytime and also in the evening if you have like a nice dinner or something like that i just love how little gold jewelry like this looks they are so so pretty and this one has a little diamond in it too which is gorgeous but if you guys do want to try any of these pieces that i'm wearing or anything on the site they have offered all my viewers a 20 percent off code i will have it here and also down below in the description box along with the links for these exact pieces if you guys want to check them out and maybe try them out for yourself as well
black and white book. This is from Love Every, as is the Pelagian. Now she's at an age where she can be awake a little bit more between um, feeding and sleeping. So we do a few of these little like activities as she's awake before she's gonna go back to sleep. So after she's eaten, I feel like she's actually about to fall asleep right now. So she definitely knows the difference now between night and day, but we do make sure that she gets a little bit of stimulation during the daytime so that um, she is a bit more awake during the day and then at night she sleeps pretty well. And when I say pretty well, it's like a four hour stretch and then maybe a two and a half hour stretch or a three hour stretch. Sometimes it's a four and a half hour stretch. Yeah, it kind of just depends on the day and how much she's eaten, how awake she's been during the day as well that affects it. But there's like a fine balance of her being like really well stimulated during the day and then overtired. Like overtired is not good either, right? No, <laughs> she's smiling. <laughs> yeah, my love. Should we look at some of these cards too? Complicated one. Uh -huh. There's a lot going on there. You can touch it with your foot. Look. <laughs> Interesting, right? So she's gonna nap now and I'm gonna put her in this carrier. Every day is a bit different on where she takes her nap. Sometimes she takes it in her swing, sometimes it's here in this carrier. She really loves being carried like this and it's a nice opportunity for us to do some skin to skin or at least like her, her head here on my skin and she hears my heartbeat. And we also have a call in about 15 minutes to make sure that she sleeps nice and cozy. I'm going to put her in this wrap. This one is from Ergo Baby. I also have a really nice one from Sully Baby. And then we do also have some actual carriers that are um, not like fabric, but I feel like she's still a bit too small for those. So this is, this is how we've been rolling. <laughs> and this is great because when she's in here, I can get lots of stuff done around the apartment. Like I can do laundry, I can eat. Um, like clean up and stuff like that and she just chills in here. So hopefully she will like it today as well. <laughs> we do one leg in here, right? And then we do one leg in here. Oh, 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 oh. Let me fix the butt. You're gonna sleep so good in here. Mm-hmm. Do the legs. Oh, tight, 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 mommy. I know, I know. But wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. We got this. Okay. And then the arms go up. And then this piece goes up like this. Right? Do we have that figured out? Okay, there we go. Her head is in. Are you happy in there? Are you already snoozing? Oh, my baby. Oops. Like that. Hmm? You love it in there, right? He's so cozy. Hi. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. So we have, <laughs> we have actually um, a new member on board. <laughs> So, oh, okay. <laughs> this, this is how she loves to to, to nap. So, hopefully she stays this way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Quick little outfit of the day. I was able to get myself a little bit more ready this morning as well, which feels really good. And last night I was even able to wash my hair, which I love now is like a huge thing. If I'm able to wash my hair, it just feels so amazing. Usually I do it like once a week now and I'm trying to get better with like planning in things. But sometimes when you have free time, you have to decide like, okay, do I want 
to meal prep, do the laundry or clean up, have a nap. You know, you have to decide like what you want to do with that time. But yeah, yesterday it was time to wash my hair. So that feels really good. And quickly for what I'm wearing, I love this green kind of like shirt jacket. This is from H&M, but from last fall actually. I'll see if they have something similar, but I really, really love it. And then this is the same nursing top that I showed you guys the other day, but this is in a beige color. These shorts are the same ones as well that I showed you, but in a green color. And then again, my jewelry is from Monica Vinader. I love this um, emerald color. It's so pretty and it just looks so like classic and rich. I really, really love it. But yeah, earrings as well, same as I showed you before bracelets. Yeah, quick, comfy, and easy mom look. <laughs> so I am now three weeks postpartum, and I thought I would share a few of the things that really helped me during the early days, like especially in the first few days, the first week. First thing, a peri bottle, like an upside down water bottle that you spray when you go to the bathroom. This was essential, and I think it really saved me a lot of additional pain and just annoyancy during when you're going to the bathroom. Things are very sensitive down there when you've given birth, especially if you have stitches. And using a water bottle, even in the first few days, like when you're actually going to the bathroom to kind of dilute the pee, because it can burn your stitches, that's really helpful. And then also it allows you to clean yourself without having to, you know, touch yourself too much. And then you can just like, dab yourself off with some toilet paper. Another thing that I found really helpful were the Freedom Mom shorts, the postpartum um, disposable underwear. The clinic did offer a similar pair, but they were nowhere near as good as the Freedom Mom ones. I would highly, highly recommend those. And all of these things you can get on Amazon. I will have them linked for you down below. Another thing that I would highly, highly recommend is the Lanolin Nipple Balm. The first few days of getting the hang of breastfeeding, like my nipples were so sore and they were cracked you go from them like just chilling and living their life and then all of a sudden you have this little baby like gnawing on them and sucking on them things can get a little bit rough and the nipple balm really really helped me i did also try the shields i tried the silver cups as well but i found that the nipple balm was the most effective also like i've shown you a good pair of shorts like biker shorts or like gym shorts, anything that's a little bit more supportive around the belly, I found that really helpful. I did buy a full on like belly band that you guys might've seen in my um, what's in my hospital bag. That video by the way has lots of other great little things that you could use for postpartum as well. I'll have that link down below. But I didn't end up actually using the belly band. I was just more gravitating towards shorts like this. That still felt supportive around the belly, but it was still really comfortable. So that's something I would definitely recommend as well. Plus they're, you know, cute and I feel like nice in them. Also something that was really helpful for me postpartum with healing were cold pads. They actually offered these to me in the clinic. I did have my own from Freedom Mom as well, but I just took the ones that they were giving me because they worked really well and they felt super soothing and just amazing. But if your clinic doesn't offer those, then the Freedom Mom ones, the cold, um, I think they're called like the cold pads, they're instant cold pads. They're absorbent, but they also give you a cooling reliefs so i would definitely recommend those as well but just having something like nice and cool it really helps with the inflammation it's very soothing and i just use those for a few days and then by the time i got home i didn't need them anymore and also just a few things as we're here chatting about like essentials and favorites and things like that a few of the things that i'm really loving right now for our baby and that have been very helpful for me the first is actually an app it's the huckleberry app and I actually track all of her sleeps and when she's eaten on this app it's so helpful there's so many things going on postpartum and you're just trying to like figure everything out and having an app that can help you to track when she's eaten, how long she slept. It's so helpful because it's one less thing that you have to, you know, think about and remember. You can just go in the app and it's all written out. And then it also helps you to predict when she's going to sleep next, when she has to eat next, you can prepare yourself. Also, as you guys saw, the wraps, like the carrier wraps, she loves those so much. I have the one from Ergo that you guys saw and then also from Solly Baby. For this newborn stage when they're so tiny, it fits her 
perfectly. I do also have a Baby Bjorn one and one from Artie Pop that is so cute, but I think she's still a bit too small for those, but definitely having a good carrier. The Snuggle Me Organic Pillow she loves as well. It's like a pillow that goes like this and there's a little um, compartment inside where you put her in and she feels like really cozy and snuggly in there. Oh, and also the Mamaru Swing, she loves that as well. It has a few different functions. There's like car ride, there's um, like tree swing, there is kangaroo, a few different modes and then you can also choose different sounds to go with it. You can adjust the speed of the swing as well. Yeah, that one has been very, very helpful. I will make sure to have all of these things linked for you guys down below. I definitely want to do a full video with all of my newborn essentials because there's lots of things that have been really helpful but those are like the key things that I can think of right now. But do stay tuned for that video. I'll probably film that in a few weeks or in a month or so when I've really got in like into the hang of things and when I really see what's working and what we're using a lot of. I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hear her waking up from her nap so I'm gonna go and tend to her, feed her, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got a little glimpse into what our days look like. I definitely plan on filming more videos like this and just documenting this super special time. It's not easy, I'm super sleep deprived and some days are very challenging and and, you know I've cried a lot in this time as well I definitely don't want you to think that it's all like happy and perfect all the time but there are some very very beautiful moments of course but yeah it is a new experience we're learning a lot and it's still a very special time I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one